Chaim, Chaim. This last Gimel Tammuz, there were two Israelis standing in line, waiting, waiting for their turn to come to the oil and go inside. As they get closer, as the line gets closer, they hear an announcement that you only have five minutes. So one guy, who seemed to be more of a newcomer, they weren't, uh, at least on the outside, they weren't looking like Chassidim, they were guests. So the one, the younger person is asking whoever brought him, said, what, it's only five minutes? I'm not going to have enough time in five minutes to ask for everything. I have a long list of requests from the Rebbe. You know, I, I, this is not enough time. So the older, more experienced guy tells the younger guy, ask for the Rebbe. Well, you, you didn't get the program. Over here, you're not coming. This is not... Like the Tziyunim, you know, we are in, in Eretz Yisrael. I'm talking about myself, in northern Eretz Yisrael. It's fast, Miron. Everybody is going to the Helike Tziyunim. So the guy tells him, this is not over here like the Tziyunim that everybody is coming to ask for Broches and Yeshuas. Over here you're coming to report. What have you done for the program? What have you done for the Rebbe? You're coming to report. And then... When you give your report, what you're doing, then the Rebbe gives all the brachas already. Don't worry about it. So I'm standing behind and I'm thinking how amazing it is that these two guys are speaking in the language of Chassidim. And this is really, this is really the chidush this is really the story of our generation, and this is really the story of Shivim Shana. There were times, there were times that Rebbe and Chsidim and all that idea belonged just to a small group of people who grew up with a proper education. They understood what a Rebbe is, they understood what Chsidis is. Now we're living in a time that every Jew has the potential to understand, and many people do understand, what is the idea that we're learning in the letter of Yud Shvar of this year, the idea of Tzivus Hashem. The idea of Tzivus Hashem doesn't belong to us exclusively anymore. This is an idea that belongs to the whole Jewish people. I remember in Dida Notzach, Hey Tevis Tovshin Mem Zayin, which everybody knows, was a whole new era. The Rebbe started speaking then that every person's home is becoming a base Chabad, a base of Toiro, avoiding Gmilus Chasodim. Obviously, the Chabad houses and Shluchim and official Shluchim, we all know the system and we have to work with it and respect it, obviously. But the idea that every Jew, every Jew is a shliach, every person is a soldier in the Rebbe's army, this started Begilui during Dida Notzach, and now that we're coming to Shivim Shono, we see it with our own eyes. One of the ideas of Shivim, like the Rebbe says in the Sikha, that Shivim is Shleimus and Esius, Shivim is Ein Be'ein Yiru, Re'iyah Be'lokus. Re'iyah Be'lokus, we don't know yet exactly what it is. But Re'iyah, with our own eyes, that every word the Rebbe ever said is Emes. This is something that the whole Jewish world sees it right now. This is not some Lubavitch propaganda. This is something that everybody, wherever we go, and wherever we're speaking to people, everybody knows the Emes. Of the Rebbe's words, I'm just going to give two quick 
small examples. One very simple example that comes to mind is the idea of we want Mashiach now. I was 13 years old when the Rebbe started with we want Mashiach now. And I remember very clearly, I didn't grow up in Lubavitch, and I remember very clearly the response in the shul of my parents when I was growing up, when people heard that the Lubavitch Rebbe in New York is saying, we want Mashiach now. What, what, what is going on? What, what, what's happening with the Rebbe? I, I, we can't repeat over here the words that people used. But what is this? Mashiach now? For 2,000 years, nobody ever spoke like that. All of a sudden, the Rebbe speaks like that. And we know, so many years later, right now, we know that every Jew, especially in Eretz Yisrael, whoever you speak to, you're talking about Mashiach, this is common language right now. This is something that everybody in the street is connecting to it. So we see how an idea when it first came from 770 from the Rebbe that was so foreign to so many people. Right now, this is, this is the common language. And another thing that was mentioned before, how the Rebbe is teaching us and educating us, something also that's connected to Shivim. Shivim Umasoilam. How to speak to Goim, how to speak to heads of nations. We all know the Sikhs. And we all know in the time that the Rebbe spoke like this, whoever spoke to heads of states the way the Rebbe taught us to speak. And right now we see all around the world, Shluchim of the Rebbe, Chsidim of the Rebbe. We see it on the news, Shivim Umo Mamesh, they hear the Rebbe's words. And we see it in front of our eyes. Ayin, we see it with our Ayin, with the 70 of our body, which is the Ayin. Our every word the Rebbe said, Oh, Yoshuv Reikom. And this is something very simple that every person in our generation knows. There's nobody like the Rebbe in our generation in that regard. That every word we could, we don't have to like say it, as I said before, as some propaganda. It's a fact that every word is MS. And this is why the idea that every Jew in our generation is a soldier for the Rebbe. It's a basic idea right now. We see an Isoy Rerus for Shivim Shono, something that hasn't happened for many, many years. Communities of Chsidim, of Anash, all over the world. for Shivim Shono. Such an awakening. And this is an apetun time for us. The Rebbe says, the Sikha is printed in the... In the contrast of Bosi Legani, Tov Shin Chof, Tov Shin Mem, there's a few sikhs in the back. So there's a sikh from Shabbos after Yud Shvat that the Rebbe says that really, when we come to the end of Ois Yud, to chapter 10 in Bosi Legani, really this is the beginning of chapter 11, the real chapter 11, right? Perak Yud Alef, Bizbuz Oitzrois. Right now, this is the time we are in. This is the time that all the treasures are being spent for us and we have to bring more and more chayolim, more and more soldiers. This is especially... This is especially true when we see everything that's going on in the world. So I want to bring it all the maise, you know, droshes we could give all night, we'll fabring. But the maise, in Yudalef Nisan Tov Shilamet Beis, everybody knows the Rebbe spoke about 71 Moises. So I want to ask myself and everybody that we should take this auspicious time of Shivim Shono, that we are here by the Rebbe, and everybody should think this year, this is just, we all worked up for you, Shvat, but really the, the avoid that begins right now. And we should all think how many more soldiers, how many more chayolim we could bring to the Rebbe this year. In Tov Shin Yud Alef, the Rebbe spoke before you, Shvat, that everybody should bring 10 more Jews for the Rebbe. This is a time we should take a, make a decision, each and every one. We all have networks of people. We all are connected to people. We all are doing mifzoim. But we're not always thinking in terms of turning another yid 
into a soldier for the Rebbe. Soldier is Kabbalah soil. Midas and Nitzoch, and we all know what it is. It doesn't have to be explained. But a soldier is a whole other level. It's not somebody who's coming to ask for broches only. It's somebody who's coming with a report. It's somebody who's coming with their own accomplishments for the Rebbe, and then they get the broches. But first, what have you accomplished? So we should all take a achlote toivo, b'schus of being together over here, b'schus of saying lechaim for bringing that we should all bring more and more chayolim for the Rebbe. Somebody wants to bring 10, another wants to bring 20, whoever wants to bring 71, noch besser. Be'ezer Hashem, we will bring more and more soldiers for the Rebbe, and as the Rebbe says in the Sichas, is a dover yudua, that a soldier, when they go to battle, they already go with a nigun. They already go with simcha, even though you don't know where you're going. You don't know how it's going to turn up. But you already have so much bitoch and so much confidence that everything is going to go the right way. We're going besimcha. And we know that being besimcha is one of the instructions of, that the Rebbe gives us. Simcha betaharoso, to bring Mashiach Tzidkeinu. Bifrat, as I'm the one who, who is speaking over here on behalf of uh, Eretz Yisroel. Bifrat, that we all see with our own eyes the nisim of how HaKadosh Baruch Hu is protecting Eretz Yisroel. And how there are nisim there every day. And the Rebbe said many times in Tov Shinun Aleph in several occasions that if we would really contemplate the nisim, we would be dancing in the streets. So Be'ezer Hashem will bring chayolim to the Rebbe with a lot of simcha. L'chaim, l'chaim.